Welcome to the second episode of the Peak Sports Podcast. With us today is uh, Milt Richards, the athletics director here at uh, Sound Fraser University. Why are you resigning? Well, you know, I've, I came here three and a half years ago with the uh, commitment to get us to Division II and to make this a great program. And when I first came here, uh, the intent was that my wife was going to move with me, but she has a lot of commitments. It's time to go home. I'm 58 years old, and it's, it's time to go home. What's the, what was the favorite university that you like to see SFU beat? Oh, your Cal State Stanislaus, no question. <laughs> then UBC. Uh, do you have any update on the Shrum Bowl, if there's any progress on that end? The Shrum Bowl is looking very positive, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> have you seen the uh, SFU community uh, sports environment kind of grow in this year? Absolutely. And I, I, you know, I think one of the misconceptions when I first came here was, you know, uh, Sports aren't as big a deal in Canada. When you look at how many people come to the SFU games, how many people watch our webcasts and stuff, I think sports is a big deal. And I think people are really excited about it. it. Might be a little better perspective here because it's more of a real student athlete and what we're doing, and it's not really kids coming to be. You know, in the US, you go to a Division I school, most, a, a lot of student athletes are trying to be pros. And it's kind of funny, the mayor of Burnaby, Gary Corrigan, made a comment that. Uh, you're more likely to be killed in an automobile accident than make the NHL. <laughs> That's kind of a sobering fact, but probably true. Um, what are the differences, say, in leading a Canadian university over an American university that's been established in, in the NCAA for some time? You know, when, when we went to our first Final Four in men's soccer, our student athletes were worried about the internet and studying, while, they, while they, the American kids were, quite frankly, not studying as much. And I, and I think the fact how serious our kids take the academic commitment, I think is a big difference. Is that somewhat of a challenge too, though, like with the more serious academic focus, like uh, attracting some uh, student athletes? No, because I've always had as my number one uh, uh, goal is to graduate at a higher rate than the general student body. I mean, you're not here to become a professional football player. You're here to become a better citizen and get a degree and go on into a profession. So I think Canada has that right. Um, so I guess, what will you miss most about Burnaby now? The people, and, and the program, and the coaches, and the student athletes, just everything about it. You know, it's, it's, it's been my family for almost four years, and, and I know I'm going to be keeping in touch with people, and um, I definitely the same people now. What's next for Milton Richards? You know, the good news is, We've, we've planned and we've done well so that I don't have to work, so what's the saying? Whatever I want. <laughs> now this has been the most fantastic experience I've had in my 38-year 38, 38 career. I mean, coming here and the people have been so gracious to me and the way we've moved this program and, and the way we have this really strong program where students graduate and do so well in the classroom. I'm really proud of what we've been able to do.